it always goes too far. Shoot him, pull, crack a jack, take off now and don't look back. But hey, don't you want to play? Hold on, sugar, why you look so sad? Come on now, mama, ain't nothing here so bad. You got fast cars, movie stars, party on down the street. With Mary Jane, good cocaine, plenty down there to eat. Double down, throw some dice, take off now, don't think twice. Hey, oh, get some out. What's up guys and welcome back or to the channel as you can see the 73 is back at the other shop We're actually gonna get busy on this frame today. The inner rocker panels also showed up So we've got those we've got all the outers this trucks ready to go back together um, While we have the extra I guess line of sight getting underneath here into this part of the frame I'm gonna take advantage of that um, We've got a needle scaler. I know a lot of you recommended that last time. I was just messing with it for a second it works, not the best, but it does work. So we're gonna get busy on all the flaky stuff. And then like the outside of the frame here, that's, you know, only a little flaky and pretty flat, just surface, you know, surface patina or rust. Uh, I'm gonna use my contour SET and sand this thing down. Um, and if there's any spot that needs extra attention after all of that, um, I still got my sandblaster, so we'll get that outside and we'll do that maybe when it's not so much raining, but, um, yeah, we're gonna take care of all of that. And then once that's pretty much done, get this frame painted and then we'll put the uh, new rockers in and then we can get the cab uh, itself painted. So uh, let's just get to it. How do you like build something and run wires everywhere and think it's okay? I have no idea. Run. Run.
just did, obviously, we knocked all the scale we could off the frame. First things first, never rubberize undercoat. I am a mess again, but never rubberize undercoat anything. Um, that's kind of what was all over the frame, and there's still some in certain spots that's just actually, it won't come off, which is actually doing its job. But as you can see, the rest of the frame, it did, did not do its job. So rubberized undercoating is a big no. If you want the best undercoating possible, literally, frame paint. Get frame paint. If there's any rust, sand it, and literally use frame paint and repaint it. Uh, that's gonna be your best possible solution to your rust issues. So that's what we're doing here. We got as much of the scaling and rubberized undercoat off that we could. And I power washed it so we got all the mud off, all the dust off, and we're gonna do it now so we let it dry overnight and then in the morning this will be completely dry and we can paint the frame. Not worried about the axles right now and not really worried about the leaf springs. I do plan on getting a new lift kit for this. I don't know if it's gonna be the same height, which I believe is like a four inch lift. Um, I don't know if it's going to be the same height or a little taller. It does clear these 35, 12 and a half on a 20 by 12 right now, just fine. I don't know if I want to do that and, and just up the wheel and keep a 35. I do like the height it's at. It, it, it does nosedive a little bit, so I don't know. We'll see. I may re, you know, get a new four inch lift for it, and then this thing should be level. You know, after the spring sag for a minute, but. This thing should be level, so I might just do a whole new four-inch lift, and then stick it with, you know, stick with the 35s and get some, you know, get some bigger wheels on this guy, because I feel like that would be pretty clean. I mean, having a truck that big is super nice, and I know I want to put this on like eight-inch and 40s. However, I've already got such a big truck, one that's like moderately sized might be pretty, a pretty sweet move. So I may keep it uh, with this four-inch lift, but we'll we'll up it so we're not stacking blocks in the rear. We'll get new leaves up front. Get everything powder coated, you you know the deal. But I just want to show you guys that, you know, we went to town today and uh, pretty much got all of the crap off this frame we could. Um, it looks so much better uh, already. Here's one of those situations where the rubberized undercoat is like stuck to the frame and won't even come off with a needle scaler or my uh, wire wheel. So only other step would be sandblast this entire frame. However, um, I'm happy with where we're at. It, it's a flat, clean surface, no flake anywhere. Um, I'm happy with where we're at. So we'll shoot this with, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do gloss or a, uh, a semi uh, gloss slash satin, but uh, one of the two we're gonna do and um, Oh, it's gonna look so good. But we'll get this thing back in the morning and uh, we'll get to painting. All right guys, it's the next day. We just got back from Eastwood. We picked up some stuff. We actually stopped at Harbor Freight as well. Um, <laughs> this was actually on sale today, but this is the best thing to use when you're trying to like do any kind of frame restoration. It's a cheap gun. You don't have to worry about it. And it, it'll probably clog up a nice gun because the frame paint is actually a lot thicker than you think. So it's 12 bucks. It was on sale today. You don't got to worry about it. Just fill it up, mix it, spray the frame and, and just pitch it. Um, that's probably the best advice I can give you on that. If you use a high-end paint gun, you, you will probably ruin it. But in that, I did see this here. So I'm going to try this out, the, the 3M. Uh, spray gun cleaner. So I'm gonna see if we can actually clean this out and reuse it. So and also see how well this works. But from Eastwood, this is what I do on almost everything now. Is the 2K ceramic chassis black? The 2K ceramic literally adds water resistant, like literally ceramic properties to it. Um, I sprayed that on the front of the frame on my green truck, touching up a few spots, and then I went to wash it, and all the water like looked like my frame was ceramic coated, which was super sweet. So um, we did that, and we also have the Eastwood rust converter. This is what I sprayed on these panels up here, and as you can see, it took the whole area and turned it black. And then you're supposed to top coat it, which I really didn't top coat this, but I'll spray this today um, when when we're when we're spraying the frame. Uh, I used to ooh backlit. I used to use the rust encapsulator, but I'm gonna try it this route this time um, because this actually converts the rust um, to this so it'll stop it. The, the encapsulator kind of covers it, but doesn't really do any kind of chemical bonding or, or, or transformation to it. So I'm gonna try this out. Um, as you can see, the frame looks really, really good from yesterday's work. After I power washed it, you could see that we've got the um, where the water sat, there's that rust dust. But uh, what we're gonna do is actually spray this entire frame with uh, 
Eastwood rust converter, and then we're gonna come back, mix up some 2K ceramic, and shoot the rest of this frame black. Uh, I picked a satin black, so it looks factory. Gloss black does look good, makes your frame look super clean. However, sometimes if the frame isn't like dead smooth, like as you can see, just from, you know, sanding and, um, needle scaling this and over years it's not really a smooth frame anymore um, if you went and got this sand blasted i wouldn't even think it would be flat either so sometimes when you put gloss paint on a non extremely smooth frame um, you kind of see a lot of imperfections so that's why i went with the satin semi-gloss and uh, i guarantee uh, you're not going to even recognize this frame in a little bit here so we're gonna get started with the rust converter spray it all over the frame in and out all the way up um, I'll get the, the, the tank straps and all that stuff too. And then we'll mix up some of the 2K ceramic and come through and shoot everything on this. I'm not too worried because we are doing black. Uh, not too worried about this cab or anything because when we get to actually painting this, um, we're gonna sand this whole thing down anyway. So not too worried about taping or masking anything off. Uh, just kind of watch out for you know fuel tank lines and other than that, you're pretty much good. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. Well, we went and sprayed this entire frame. Uh, I avoided the leaf springs, uh, not exactly intentionally, but we're gonna get those sand blasted and powder coated at some point anyway. So not really worried about converting the rust on those because they'll be taken off and completely blasted and freshly powder coated. Now in the last probably 48 and 24 hours both, uh, this paint color I picked for the truck has changed about so many times I, a lot way too much um it's actually been hard because i see one thing and i see another and colors i've already done and this that, and the other it's changed a lot so still i may have found one i just gotta just go for it it's it's a little bit out there but um i just gotta go for it and do it so i think we may settle on that we may but anyway this actually takes 48 hours to cure so I'm actually gonna spray right here again where it's actually drying up a little more, but um, this takes 48 hours to cure, so we're gonna let it do its thing and cure the full 48 hours. I thought I was gonna be able to do it all today, but I guess not, which I'm not that you know upset about it. We'll let it do it, we'll let it do its thing. As you can see, the frame already looks a lot better, and it's not even um, it's not even painted yet. That's just the, the chemical like reaction going on there, which is super sweet. This is how we started, as you saw today. The whole frame was this, and just spraying the rust converter on there, this is where we're at. As you can see here, it's still puddling on top of the frame, but if I touch even a dry spot and rub a little bit, um, 
you'll get under and it's still working its way down into the surface there which is super sweet um I, i've never used this before this is my first time is literally on this truck and i just saw it and i was like mm, why not so we went for it and like i said it's still doing its thing it's gonna work um work its way through and it says in 48 hours if you look at the back of the bottle uh, da, 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 da. it says in about 20 minutes the surface will turn to a dark finish then apply a second coat let cure for 48 hours i kind of hammered it on and i've been touching it up as it's dried so i'm going to say we're at the uh um the two coats on it some places like in here could probably use a little more but we are running a little low but yeah i'll put a second uh, layer on that but yeah, we're letting it do we're letting it do its thing. So it's having the frame there. But um, it, this is working quite well, quite well. I'm kind of surprised. I'm interested to see how this actually finishes up. Um, you know, after the 48 hours. So uh, kind of interested to see how this turns out. However, I do like the fact that you know you're not like the rust encapsulator. I feel like it's supposed to stop rust from moving. But this is actually going through a chemical process and uh, converting the rust. I forget what's in here or what it's doing. It says, uh, this protective coating seals out moisture and can be top coated with most paints, uh, halts residual rust in its tracks and converts the surface to a black protective poly polymeric coating. So uh, yeah, that's what, uh, you know, that's what I'm going for. That's super sweet. And what we're gonna do, like I said, we're gonna let it cure, do its thing, come back, and then we're gonna top it with, um, Top it with this, it's the two, like I said, the 2K ceramic chassis black and like I said, the satin finish. So uh, that should be a Tuesday job. Um, it is actually Sunday today, but um, like a Tuesday job, we'll come out here and uh, shoot the rest of this frame um, and get it, uh, wow, that actually looks really good from here, even though it's just, just the uh, converter. But yeah, we'll actually come out and uh, shoot that on Tuesday. But in, in the next video, all the rockers are here. Um, as you can see over here, we got just about everything we need for this truck. Still looking for a bed and three doors, but the rest of it um, we have. We've got both fenders. We've got uh, both bumpers here. And we've got the rest of the rockers in there. And the cab corners, we have those actually in the back of the truck here. And all that, another set of headlights. So we've got about everything except two uh three doors and a bed so working on that but the rest of it is here and can be painted whenever so uh like i said this week we're gonna get the rest of the frame painted uh we're gonna get the new rockers in we'll get that all ground down weldable uh, i'm ready to go we should have a fully assembled truck in no time so uh yeah i'm actually quite excited for this one guys and if we do go with the color i was thinking um that one's gonna be nuts that just just wait for it honestly um <laughs> I know, so I'm looking at this right now. It looks like a big project, but I think we got this. We definitely got this. So this thing should be in one piece this week. And um, other than that, guys, yeah, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. If you haven't been here before, please get down there, click subscribe. Drop me a comment if you haven't already. Um, like this video. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one.